What's up everyone, it's Phone Rune again. This time around we're just gonna do a quick benchmark comparison on the iPad 2 versus the original iPad and of course the iPhone 4. Uh, we know that the uh, iPad 2 sports a faster 1 gigahertz dual core Apple A5 processor, which of course is successor to last year's model, which is the A4 processor on both the iPad and also the iPhone 4. So let's just run our first uh, benchmark tool here, which is gonna be Lenpack. We're going to run them all on the uh, on all three devices, which one is going to run the fastest here. And we're just going to quickly get it started, and we'll get the iPhone 4 and the iPad to run, and the iPad 2. And you just notice that how quickly that the iPad 2 just finished calculating. Um, it looks like it's uh, the average uh, million floating operations per second is going to be 168.9. So that's a lot of stuff it processes, which is faster, of course, versus the iPad's 44 and also 33 million um, and you could tell also by time it completely let's just run it one more time here just to get a good good feel you could see it quickly how fast it calculates with the uh, iPad 2 far superior to what's on the iPad and the iPhone 4 thus in 0 0.04 seconds 0.16 on the iPhone 4 and 0.13 so a lot faster with the uh, iPad 2 so let's uh, run a different one here this time we're gonna run the um, the 3d benchmark here let's just run this and let's get it all into uh, full screen mode. So let's just tilt this over here so we can better see them all. Okay, we got the iPhone 4, so let's say no. And let's run the test here. And you can see with the iPhone, the, uh, uh, the iPad 2, 5960 frames per second. And looks like we got all the, the results here. So the average frames per second on the iPad 2 is 59.88. On the iPhone 4, it's uh, 51.37, and the iPad itself is 53.99. So, still faster as far as the 3D benchmark performance on the iPad 2. Let's run that again here. Let's just run that again. Just get a good tally. You can tell the frames per second is pretty, pretty, uh, pretty consistent with the iPad 2 at 60 frames per second. Four, like around 49 to 50 on the iPhone 4. So again, here we go. 60 frames per second on the iPad 2, 56.3 frames per second on the uh, original iPad. And finally, the iPhone 4 comes in at 50 frames per second. So let's exit out of this one here. And let's just run one last, one last uh, t benchmark test here and get a good feel for it. And let's just run the Comet, this one here called Comet, the uh, Comet benchmark. Let's run that. And this time again, we'll do it. So let's do it in landscape here, so we can see all three. And right now, just having a single comment loading up with this, um, it appears that the uh, av the frames per second on the iPad is 44.45. The the iPad 2 going in at a steady 60 frames per second, while on the iPhone 4 at 59, let's say 59 frames per second, so pretty good. Let's add additional comments here, see what happens. Let's get the maximum. Uh, I'm just gonna lower down the volume there. So we'll get a good, good tally here. So right now we have a total of 10 comments loaded up here. So from, from what we can see here, it's still frames per second on the uh, iPad 2 is somewhere around 60 frames per second versus the 52, 53 frames per second on the original iPad. And the iPhone 4 right now, it's, it's lagging behind. It's at 23 frames per second, so a lot slower versus what the uh, iPad 2 is putting out. So let's go back to just one single comment and see what the uh, results are again. So we have, um, let's go back to zero. So no comments whatsoever. 60 frames per second on the uh, iPad 2, 54, 53 on the original iPad, and the iPhone 4 is doing pretty good at 57 frames per second, so that's not too bad. And again, let's just add more comments and see how it, how it really um, pressures the devices here. Total of 10 comments on all three. So the, the iPad 2 continues to run at a decent rate, 60 frames per second, 30 frames per second on the iPad, the original one, and 25 on the iPhone 4. So it goes to show how much superior, as far as graphics performance is right now on the uh, the iPad 2. So if you want to read more about our comparison here, you can check out our website, phonerena.com.